25 points in the second half. What changed most? This is the, the classic modern day pace and space game right here. Uh, Pat wasn't with us uh, tonight, but he'd be proud of this game. This is a total throwback uh, to the 90s. Um, we knew that coming in, um, that this would be vastly different than the Phoenix game. Um, and that this game would feel like it's being played in the mud. Uh, it's a very good competitive defensive team down there. And then offensively, they execute, make you defend all the way through the clock, uh, wear you down, uh, you know, lead the league in most pick and rolls. Uh, you just have to, you have to stay with it. Um, we were flat in the first half. Um, so the 12-point lead, uh, you know, it felt like it was a 20-point lead. Um, just because we didn't get our defense established uh, um, the entire 24 minutes and, and they were able to get relief points, able to get guys going. Um, you know, they were just in a great offensive flow and we looked a little bit more like ourselves in the second half. Um, you know, at times it was ugly offensively, but uh, guys made big plays. Gorn carried us uh, for a while in the third quarter, then Dion obviously took over at the end. But um, I would say Hassan's eight-point game is one of the most inspiring games he's had in the Miami Heat uniform. Um, really anchored our defense, um, and guys were making inspiring plays because of what they saw him doing. Uh, it was great to see, and it, um, it's not one of those box scores from a point standpoint that would jump off, off the page, but his impact uh, was incredible.